Beach Cross number one, baby. This is the Cougar News. Society is having their blood drive today. So get out there and give them the gift of life. Slash, slash! Be there. Or we'll find you. Woo! -hoo -hoo. Hey, Cougars. Um, this is the counseling staff. We're just here to talk about a few things. Tuesday or this week, we are off. Um, all the students are off. Make sure you're doing your working on your Apex. Um, remember, guys, that uh, you do have to uh, fill out that. that form but you can also come down to the lunch room tuesdays wednesdays and thursdays either lunch period and have a test unlocked um, down there in the lunch room library or in the library yep and um next friday so on the 11th we are having the credit flex um, foreign language test so if anybody can read write and speak another language please come down and see the counselor so we can get you signed up to take that exam uh, you can earn credits as well as possibly the seal of biliteracy and also this month we are going to be starting our one-on-one -on -one meetings with all the 10th graders so we'll be looking forward to meeting all the 10th graders and doing our one-on-one -on -one meetings all, all right, right. can't go, wait to see you go cougars what is your favorite breakfast food my favorite breakfast food is pancake cereal French toast, um, scrambled egg and bread. Go for the cereal. And mine is scrambled eggs. McDonald's caramel fries. I mean, my favorite breakfast in the morning, I say bacon and eggs on some regular stuff. I probably say favorite breakfast, probably cereal. It's all I eat in the morning, so you know what I'm saying. I come to school with some cereal. I ain't gonna lie. I think it's muffins, and just muffins for real. <laughs> um, probably. Cream and wheat. I'm gonna have to say oatmeal, maybe. My favorite breakfast is a double shot of espresso and a protein bar. My favorite breakfast is might have to be waffles or pancakes. Uh, my favorite breakfast food is um, cinnamon toast crunch. That sounds pretty good right now. I think I'm gonna go get go get some. Science Fair. So let's take a look. Beechcroft Cougars! Let me see School Exceptional Science Fair in this house! Welcome to the Exceptional Science Fair!
But so there's a few of them in here. <laughs> and then and then and then they fluoresce ultraviolet light. Cool, right? And what's that one in your hand? This one is a Mexican red knee tarantula. She does not fluoresce. See, that does that on them, but it doesn't do anything on her. It doesn't do anything on that. It doesn't do anything on them. It doesn't do anything on them. It doesn't do anything on them. But it makes those guys fluoresce. Cool, right? What about me? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool, huh? We get the middle of all of them. Give yourself a hand. Okay. We're going to get this done because they come here every single year. We ask and they're like, what time do we get here? What can we bring? How can we do it? Um, Adam's Ant Lab. All right. I'm John Piles. This is Aaron Oliveris. Yep. And we're here for Moshu. So we brought in some leaf cutting ants from Central and South America. They cut the leaves, they take them into the boxes, and they feed them to their fungus garden. And the fungus is what they actually eat. Okay? And then we have examples here of the different cats, the different size categories you'd find in the same nest, from little teeny workers all the way up to big soldiers. Also over here is a fungus growing ant, but you could find this type in Ohio. They do the similar thing, they take the food, they feed their fungus garden, and they eat that fungus. They just don't have the big size variation that you find over here with the South, the South and Central American one. Here's a, a poster just kind of showing the different types of ants, not necessarily fungus growers, but the different types of ants that you could expect to find in Ohio. So this is a Midwest poster. And then that's just a time-lapse video showing that actually this colony here just how fast they can have they fast and completely they tear apart leaves. So, Aaron? Ants are really cool. <laughs> Alright, hey, uh, join STEM Club. We build robots and stuff. So, uh, we've got a few different native Ohio skulls here. Uh, and right here is our native gray rat snake. It's got a little bit different of a coloration, kind of a southern oak coloration, but native nonetheless. Uh, what I don't have out right now is our eastern box turtle, uh, because our friends at the table next to us also have one out. Uh, but we, a lot of the times, don't promote names, but since we have them for the rest of their life, since they can't be released, we do give them names. This is Gollum. Uh, she's about 12 years old now. Uh, she's not venomous, she's a constrictor, so she'll just bite and squeeze all of her prey and swallow it whole. And then we've got coyotes, groundhogs, beavers, bobcats, red fox, gray fox. We've got a lot of different skulls behind us. Uh, over here, we've got two turtles, a map turtle and a painted turtle. Uh, we have a white-tailed deer skin. Over here, we have a big black bear skin with a common snapping turtle on top of it and a bunch of big white-tailed deer antlers. And uh, this is all from Mohican State Park. That's where I work. I'm the naturalist with a high department of natural resources. No, he didn't eat those. <laughs> nope, he's a constrictor. So no venom in there. We only have three uh, venomous snakes in Ohio, and this rat snake is not one of them. Anything with a mouth can bite. Doesn't mean they will. I've got a mouth, but I'm not going to run around here biting everybody. Um, now, she has been getting a little bit stressed since there's so many people here, but she's starting to calm down some. Yeah. Yeah, she is, she is wonderful. What's that? No. Nope. Not at all.
because they come here every single year. We ask and they're like, what time do we get here? What can we bring? How can we do it? We want to give some special thanks to, first of all, we just saw some people walking out from Ohio State University. Let's give a hand to the Ohio State Biological Museum. Woo-hoo! Oh, okay, okay. OH. Beautiful. I'm sure every single one of you at some point has been to Sharon Woods or Blended Woods or Innis Woods or any of those. The Metro Parks were here. They had the stuff over here. Let's hear it for the Metro Park. Ashley comes every year. One of the one of the really interesting things to me is right in front of me, and they always have fun stuff. Franklin County Soil and Water Conservation District. Let's hear it for Linda. Linda Sykes here, I don't know her name. The Ohio Department of Natural Resources, ODNR, they handle all the state parks. Let's hear from Kyle, for Kyle from ODNR. What's Kyle? He's in here somewhere. And right over here beside me today, I don't know where they are now, they're, I don't know if they're still here, we had the Garden Club. Let's hear it for Katie. Let's hear it for Katie. Katie, shout out to Katie. Um, get it, get it. So we had someone walk through here earlier. I think she's gone. Bugman! Bugman! Everybody knows the Bugman. I hope he doesn't sleep with them bugs. Bugman forgot to shave this morning. There might be something up here. Hey, uh, Independence, come on over. Uh, Dr. Tola, I heard he's in, uh, got, got his knee messed up or something, he's not here. Your principal used to teach here, you guys, I want you to know that. Dr. Tola's not here a long time ago. We're not going to talk yet because we still got two, three, four more sixes in the house. I hi from the east side. Let's hear it for Look at the camera. Northland High School Darrell Hambry. He really shot that in my face. Oh, from Northland High School, let's hear for Malaya Taylor. In the house. Okay. 
what is the science fair all about? What is the science fair all about? That's a great question. So science fair is for our crew, your friends, your peers, kids in the MD department, the MI department. You see them through the building. You may, you may not know them. But we have our fair once a year in the fall. It used to be in the spring. It's our young people do their science and we show it to the rest of the city. Other classes from other schools come to East Morris, Centennial, Walnut Ridge, Cos, Whetstone, South, Independence. All classes, like the young people that are here that do it, come from there and do it here as well. Okay? How long have you been doing the science fair? How long have I been doing it? Since 1997, 98. Took a couple year break and I've been part of it ever since. Um, I've been running it since like, I don't know, 03 or 04. Seems like every year it gets a little more crazier. It's kind of how I like it. Uh, the more hype it is, the better, right? What are some of the interesting projects you've seen? This year, from us, we did the, we took the pond water, we dripped it in the syringe, we shot a laser through it, and we saw all the little, little things that live in the water, and then we took our own tap water. Our tap water's fine here, but we saw the one-cell creatures that live there, and um, took bottled water, even in bottled water, if you look close enough, there's single-cell creatures that live in bottled water too. And then from the other schools, I saw nail polish dissolve styrofoam and density projects and color projects. There was a lot of great projects this year. It was just the best. Just the best this year. We had we had great participation and our young people like you, you guys did great this year for us. I, I appreciate you. Is that all? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm Renee. And I'm Naomi. And that was the Cougar News. See you next, next time, time, Cougars. Go Cougars!